Hey there, Andrew Carruthers from The Journeyist, back again with number three of The Journey of Sunday. As promised, this week we're going to talk a bit about why is this subject of spirituality so incredibly important to us? For many of them, that answer is kind of like, well, duh, how can't it be so important to us? Those of you that are thinking that, you probably have maybe a religion that you've been practicing for a very long time, maybe some type of spiritual practice that you've been working with for a long time. But like I said in the very first video, there's a huge group of people that this is a subject that they have not tackled very deeply. And for many of those people, there is definitely a sensation of something missing. So I thought that this would be another really great kind of big picture item to start out with because I think that as people read through the comments and find out why it is so important to you, I think it's going to speak to them or maybe bring some type of meaning to them too. Now for me, there is something so essential to me studying this sense of spirituality. And the reason that it's so important to me is I can't make sense of why I'm standing here without it. Because all of this stuff, all this physical stuff, even all this beauty that stands around me right now, why is this here if there's no connection to anything bigger than me? For me, the study of spirituality really is the piece that it's like, this gives my life purpose. This creates a sense of meaning for me to be present on this planet and to be a thinking, feeling, moving object in this space. For some, it actually affects almost every single aspect of their life, from how they spend their days to their sense of morality, even down to what ends up sitting on their dinner plate. So yeah, maybe this seems again like this kind of simple big picture question. Why is spirituality so incredibly important to us? But I think as we see the comments start to come in, you're gonna really get a sense of how different that answer can be for someone that, like me, spirituality is a very specific part of my life versus someone that spirituality is almost everything about their life. I know I'm getting blasted in the side of the face with this sunbeam, so I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm probably completely like blown out right now, but hey, you know, speaking of the spirit, hmm. The sun spirit, right? <laughs> now it's your turn. I really, as always, am most curious to hear your responses. I love to share what I think, but honestly, this is so much less about my opinions and my thoughts and so much more of you know, a selfish way. I, I wanna find out what it is for you. And I think it's really cool for everyone else to be able to look through these comments. And like I said, maybe they're gonna get turned on to something that they never really thought about before. So I know these first couple questions, super big picture, really broad spectrum of questions, but I love that it's just getting the conversation started. Next week, we're going to isolate down just a tiny bit. We're going to start to talk more specifically about what are the things that actually block us from our sense of spirituality? Because I do think that there's a lot, especially in modern age, that can really block us from deeply experiencing that sensation of spiritual connection. Oh, and by the way, if you happen to know someone that would love these conversations. I would love to see this community grow as large as possible, just so we can get as much input from a wide variety of different perspectives. So if you know someone, please tag them down in the comments or send them a private message, but invite them to get involved in this discussion with us. Thank you so much for your comments and your participation in this process. I'll see you next week on another Journey of Sunday.